Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, my name is Nur Hidayah Wahida Menti Saiful Bahari And I'm from class 501 So, today We gonna to learn about Chapter 7 Which is Adaptation of plants in different habitats So, next So, our objective is First, explaining the meaning of adaptation Second, showing some examples of plants adapting to different habitats. Number three, classification of plants based on habitats. And the last one, we're going to learn about explaining adaptive futures. So what is adaptation? Adaptation is the adjustment of an organism to the environment. All organisms adapt, animal and plants have unique structure and shape to adapt to the environment to ensure the survival of the species. For a plant, this adaptation can be observed in the shape of leaf, roots and stem to adjust itself to live in its habitats. So, kiranya, adaptation ni dia nak ceritakan pasal plant yang hidup dalam ban- uh, banyak habitats. Okay, so, diorang ni dekat the habitat diorang, diorang tak Um, sama shape or apa Dia ikut uh, tempat So kalau tempat tu berair So mestilah dia punya structure Shape dia lain-lain Okay next Okay so this is all the example Habitats Okay kita ada dekat desert In the jungle In the water Okay next So this is classification of plants Based on habitats Okay first we have Halophyte. What is halophyte? Halophyte is a plant that lives in swampy habitats at the river mouth, the meeting point of fresh water and seawater. This swampy area is rich in salt content. So we have the example there. So the example for halophyte is mangrove tree. Okay, next we have hydrophytes. What is hydrophytes? Hydrophyte is plant that live in aquatic habitat, either on the water surface or submerged in the water. So, the example of habitats that live in hydrophyte is lotus and elodia sp. Okay, next we have a mesophyte. Mesophyte is a plant that live in habitats that is not too dry nor too wet. With an adequate supply of water, the example for mesophyte is mango tree, hibiscus plant, and rubber tree. The last one we have xerophytes. Xerophyte is the plant that live in an a habitat that is not hot and dry with a minimum percent of water. This is a place with very high temperature such as a desert. So for the xerophyte, the example of plant that live in there is cactus and dead plant. Okay, so for the adaptive future of hydrophyte, halophyte and xerophytes. Okay, first one, we have a hydrophytes. <clears throat> so for hydrophyte, um refer to the plant that can adapt to their wet habitat okay so whether it is a floating on the water surface or sinking in the water okay okay next most hydrophytes have fibrous okay have fibrous such as okay such as it has a large surface area or trap a bubble okay this to lateral fit area and trip a bubble is to enable to be more stable and lighter okay so un- untuk roots okay adaptation of roots okay the function is enable hydrophytes to float or stay upright in the water as well as the buoyant force excited by the surrounding water okay So next Okay so next 
for the floating plants okay for the floating plants okay they can grow with the roots not a chart to the bottom of the leg okay so leave dia okay leave dia yang kita bulatkan kat situ dia broad thin and flat okay kenapa dia jadi macam tu sebab dia nak help to absorb maximum sunlight for photosynthesis okay okay next sebab lagi sebab most of the stomata are distributed on the upper epidermis of the leaf okay so <coughs> Upper epidermis of the leaf ni They covered by a wet sea Waterproof cortical To ensure the stomata Always open So this is Okay This is the tissue Okay The stem of this plant Consists of flat tissue With plenty of A space between the cell Okay so this one lah so iron kaima tissue okay this one is the iron kaima tissue so iron kaima tissue ni is the light tissue with plenty of space between the cell at the seam of this lotus plant okay next okay untuk halophyte pula halophyte ni dia tinggal dekat Habitat yang ada high concentration of salt. Okay, and then dia low oxygen content. And the last one, they exposed to high intensity of light. Okay, for the example, we have a mangrove tree. Okay, this is a mangrove tree. Okay, for mangrove tree, untuk dia punya leaf, kita boleh lihat kat sini, the thick cortical and sunken stomata can reduce the rate of transpiration. Next, we have circulating leaf can store water. Hida tot, hida tot, hida tot, hida tot eliminate excess salt. Only fall off when the concentration of salt is too high. So, maksud ni kat sini, okay, daun-daun yang lama ni yang simpan salt ni dia akan jatuh gugur bila concentration salt yang dia simpan tu terlalu tinggi. So, leaf ni, dia ada special structure yang kita boleh kenal sebagai high, high datot. Okay, high datot ni function dia untuk eliminate excess salt. Okay, next untuk roots pula. Roots ni, okay, function of roots is to support plants to continue living in the soft and moody soils. Next, um, dia akan prevent plant from being uprooted to a <coughs> uprooted Due to strong wind Penomatophorus is the root system Produce hundreds of breathing roots That grow vertically upright Lenticles enable the exchange of gases When the atmosphere With the atmosphere Atmosphere The cell set has a higher salt content Than the sea water So roots ni Dia sangat penting Sebab dia akan support plant lah uh, Untuk living dekat Soft and moody soil Sebab mangrove tree ni Dia duduk dekat macam kawasan paya-paya kan So dia punya tanah pun like Lembut, lembik So sebab tu lah function ni root tu Okay next uh, Root ni juga Okay root yang kuat Dia akan prevent plant ni uh, Daripada tumbang uh, Ataupun rosak Disebabkan oleh wine yang kuat um, lepas tu ah, Lepas tu tu lah Dia ada high high salt content Okay so next Okay the last one is about a xerophyte Xerophyte ni Okay dia menceritakan The uh, habitat in The desert So <coughs> The cat area ni Dia akan resist very little rainfall Which is a uh, extreme dryness Okay, so we have the example in here. We have a cactus. Okay, this is the root of cactus. What is the function of root of the cactus? Is first they grow widely and penetrate, penetrate deep into the soil. Second, the absorbed water is stored in the root stem 
and leaf. Photosynthesis carried out by the stem of the cactus. Cactus has small leaf and thick wassy cuticle on its stem and leaf. So in here. Okay. Okay, next. Leaf. Will, uh, dekat leaf akan ada tons. So, tons ni, the function dia untuk reduce the total surface area yang exposed to the sun. And then, dia akan reduce water loss and also, it can prevent the plant from being eaten. So, sebab tu lah pentingnya ada tons ni dekat leaf leaf dekat-dekat pokok cactus tu lah. So, kalau tak ada benda tu apa water akan lose lepas tu um, plant akan kena makan dengan apa serang-serangga so total surface area dia pun uh, akan expose to the sun too much so that's all from this chapter i hope you guys will understand what i'm explain about this topic so thank you everyone bye